We're here at VMworld 2018 in Las Vegas, and we've stopped by the Quali booth. Can you tell us a little bit about the company and what you're showing here at VMworld? Absolutely. Delighted to share with you what we do. I'm Das Dosanj. I'm the Director of Technical Marketing here at Quali. Quali has been in business for almost a decade. And what we do is build environments as a service. So that could be your data center infrastructure, whether it's IT, the application team, and we build cloud infrastructures, public, private, and hybrid. So if you want to validate that your application, your data, your content, your infrastructure, and your security policies are going to perform within your IT environment, on-premise, or in the cloud, Quali brings those environments to life. What I mean by that is, let's take an example of a PowerPoint. When you add some text, you build some images, you add some shapes, and when you hit play, the slideshow starts. In the Quali Canvas, when we add routers, switches, proxies, load balancers, when we add application nodes, and when we introduce data, and when we actually execute that environment, it deploys both in the physical world, in the virtualized world, and we can then control traffic, scanning of vulnerabilities, and maintain a score for what actually is occurring within that infrastructure. The benefits of this are obviously easy to use from an interactive, uh, intuitive interface, and then you can actually spin up these environments very quickly. What takes weeks and months can be done in minutes and hours. So the benefit is to organizations that are looking to introduce new applications, validate that they meet security requirements, and they perform. DevOps, SecOps, IOps, NetOps are the beneficiaries who actually administrate these environments, and that together they can collaborate to make sure that all their solution components are working in the way that they were designed to do. So we encourage you to come over to Quali and learn more. So how do you fit into the uh, VMware ecosystem? Regarding uh, virtualization and VMware, we work with any type of a uh, solution component, and obviously a lot of folks work from bare metal to dedicated servers to dedicated appliances, and then when they go into the virtualization, VMware is a uh, the primary course that they go down are virtualizing their application components or whatever the underlying required uh, operating system and other uh, assets may be. So we work in those environments. We actually can spin up virtualized instances on-prem, whether it's on an ESXi server or in the cloud. So if you want to spin up virtualized nodes in Amazon, Azure, Google Cloud, Oracle Cloud, IBM Bluemix, so on and so forth, we are able to orchestrate those nodes and then you can customize the implementation of an application or the configuration where you get really granular. So we help you quickly orchestrate and model those components whereby now you can instantiate them in any environment. So with VMware, we obviously have a very close collaboration on how you would instantiate those assets and then we can deploy them into any cloud or any on-premise environment. Would it be uh, possible for us to get a demo of the product? Absolutely. Here at uh, the trade show VMworld 2018, I'm actually going to show you something that a lot of folks around the world could really benefit from. So let me step over and show you a demo. Okay, so here at VMworld, I'm going to show a demonstration of what most of the enterprises, most of the service providers around the world are looking to actually understand. What's the security posture? What's their performance posture? What they'll call is quality of experience for an end user, quality of service for their distribution of content. So let's go ahead and look at how we support that. We're going to first show you the multiple cloud environments and the vendor products that I call building them in an automated fashion, secure and fast. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to pick a cloud. We're going to orchestrate these workflows. So here's our Cloud Shell application. We're going to log in, in this case, as an administrator. We enter our credentials, and each person that logs in gets their own view. Once we log in, we can actually set up the various cloud environments we want to communicate with. So whether you're in Amazon, Azure, OpenStack on-premise, or using a VMware environment, we can actually deploy assets because we have the credentials to log into any one of those environments in the East Coast, West Coast, and this is a demo ID, and now we can instantiate anything that those clouds support. 
So we can mix and match cloud environments, but the beauty of this is once you set it up, you can now deploy anything in those environments. Next thing we're going to do is select resources. We're going to model some workflows. So here I've got some blueprints already created as a demo. And what we're going to do in these blueprints is actually bring in certain assets. So let's go ahead and show you a microservices application in Azure. We got a gateway in the front running on Ubuntu. We got the payment and order management pieces. And then we got a database at the back end. These are all virtualized instances running on VMware nodes in Azure. Here's my catalog. So I want to add something to this guy. You know, I want to replace this API gateway because uh, the operating system has shown some vulnerabilities. So I'm going to take that guy out and I'm going to put in a polymorphic Linux version of Ubuntu. This is the latest what we call moving target defense. It scrambles the binaries under the operating system. All I got to do is point click and now that connects it. We actually connect, create the network connection between the application and the front end. Now I'm going to add a scoring mechanism from a partner company. Again, these are the icons, but they connect into the actual asset itself. So what Caverine does, when we run that application against that, it will show us a vulnerability score about what's your security posture and where are you susceptible. Next is I'm going to show a visibility tool, a CDN, PBX, and I'm going to add an Azure load balancer. I'm going to connect these components, and what a CDN allows me to do is tell me where is the bottleneck of traffic, at the network, at the application, or at the data layer. Critically important, because if I'm adding security overhead, I need to know if there's going to be an impact on performance. So point click, I connect the dots here, and then I'm going to introduce some traffic. This is a sandbox environment. It's an environment where it's pre-production. So here we're going to bring in a software as a service, blaze meter, which is going to introduce a large volume of traffic. I connect it to the load balancer, and now my blueprint is done. That's it, simple drag, drop, connect. And at the conclusion here, I'm going to actually uh, I'm going to do one more step. I'm going to go into the properties, and if I need to customize the duration of this blueprint, let's say I want it to run for a couple of hours, if I want to introduce some teardown and setup scripts, so I don't have to have it running all day long. I can set the duration and it can automatically start and automatically stop. So that way it saves a lot of costs when you're deploying in cloud environments. I go ahead and hit reserve and now we're going to validate that the security and performance is actually working. So we talked about some of the components here, We're all set to go. We now make sure we got the duration ready, a couple of hours in Azure, we hit reserve. And now what you'll start to see is uh, as we hit the activity and the output, because this is in Azure, we're connecting into Azure, we're spinning up each one of these nodes within the Azure environment. So you get an example of a live, what we're now calling a pre-production environment, but the assets are actually live. The sandbox is here, so it's gonna be instantiated. And what you'll start to see is uh, it'll take about a few minutes to log in, to set up each node, as it goes through the build process. So let me show you a couple of other uh, blueprints. Here we have Azure in the public cloud and Azure on-premise. This is the Azure stack. So when you talk about hybrid clouds, I can now deploy that one in parallel. So while one blueprint is becoming active, I can deploy another blueprint. Enterprise data center, public cloud. And here we go, we're setting up the environments. But as you can notice, I've got a different load balancer here, Nginx, so we can really get an understanding of the differences. And here it is now starting to spin up. And uh, what we'll do is take, give you an example of a couple of more blueprints, in this case, Amazon. So with Amazon, I've got the Nginx load balancer. I've got my same security product and performance tools, my load uh, generation tools, and I've got different components on the back end. The beauty of this, whether you're IOPS, SecOps, DevOps, it's the same interface, single pane of glass. You can log in, select your blueprints, and deploy them in different environments. Once you've passed your uh, environment test, you can now give that environment to the next person so they can conduct their test. So you don't have to request uh, the setup, the orchestration, it's already done. This is standardized, and now you get a chance to look at, oh, wait a minute, my security vulnerability posture or my performance is not in line with what my company is expecting. We better change something at the application level, the operating system, to make sure we can actually accomplish that objective. The last one I'll show is a microservices application. So here, without even connecting the network at the network layer, we're having the application determine 
where their next hop is. So we built in that uh, within the application itself. The beauty of this is you can actually deploy the front end in AWS, the back end in Azure, and another piece like a database on premise. So that flexibility of allowing you to place your systems wherever in a hybrid mode, and then you get the output, apps are being powered on, configuration is started. And if you've got different versions of code using Chef, Puppet, Ansible, we can then pull a version out of GitHub and install it. We can also SSH right into those boxes. So if you do custom configuration, you've got a shell right into these very components. And the example application is here is a node.js application, just to show that things are up and running. But once things are up and running, the beauty of this is one click teardown. And so now you can bring down all those virtualized assets in the cloud or in the public environments or on-prem. So if you've reserved a Cisco router, a Juniper switch, a Palo Alto firewall, blue coat slash semantic proxy, we can release those assets. And now if I go right into Azure, I can show you on the virtual machines where we had the API gateway, the data store, the order, and the payments. Those things are going to be spun down automatically. So you're not consuming resources or being billed for items that nobody's utilizing. That's the real beauty of this from a cost perspective. There's efficiency, there's automation, and then there's an ROI model. And if you add the security and the performance components on it, you can now mix and match any environment. So ladies and gentlemen, that's the, uh, a quick overview of what Quali can do for you. And if you're building SaaS applications and you want to figure out performance, where's the bottleneck? Is it at the application layer? Is it the data itself because it's encrypted or tokenized? Is it the infrastructure within your enterprise? Model it, orchestrate it, introduce some traffic, and now with the tools like the CDN and Cavalry, you can get your security posture and your performance highlights of where that bottleneck may be occurring. That's a quick way to remediate and troubleshoot. And instead of the network guys going to the database guys, talking to the comp application, to the business, they can collaborate together, get their view, and then test it out and say, you know what? We're good on our front. We're going to pass a known good blueprint to you and let's let you make your model uh, changes. And now you have a chance to get things into production faster. We are coming out with a CI, CD, continuous integration, continuous deployment environment. So you can expect a lot more feature-rich functionality as we get input from customers and partners on how they want to see this utilized. Great. And where can they go if they want to find out more information about Quali? Definitely come to our website, www.quali.com. You'll find under the resources tab a wealth of data, video, data sheets, video, solution briefs, testimonials, case studies, and we also have a Quali University which can help you walk through how this is all orchestrated and set up.